Where is it? Whoa, where's what? What are you talking about? Tis time, Scooter, to reacquire the headband of seriousness. Good lord, not again! they say don't judge a book by its cover well fuck that this cover lost me from the beginning boom who made this shit y'all remember this bastard right no you know what no Needless to say, I hate this stupid frog. Always have and always will. I don't know how he got so popular with his annoying ass song. I guess the only song right now that I can put in retrospect of how annoying it is, is... Okay. Just stop! Honestly, we're at that point in our lives where the movie Idiocracy has gone from being a comedy to being a goddamn documentary, which is only further emphasized by the popularity of the stupid-ass frog and his game on the PlayStation 2, Crazy Frog Arcade Racer. with this pile. The cover already annoys me because this jackass is eyeballing you like he's cracked out on something. Then I'm immediately confused by the two figures behind him. Who are they? Are they his posse? <laughs> and this guy is so even worse. Look at the hood, rocking the purple, and the big bling. This guy is so black faced out that you can't even make out his facial features. The back doesn't make things any more promising. Crazy racers, start your engines. The annoying thing is cranking up the speed for his greatest adventure yet. Alright, the opening sentence has pissed me off. You're going to tell me this thing is self-referentially calling himself the annoying thing. Is that his actual name? I thought it was Crazy Frog, so I google, holy shit, he really was called the annoying thing. Alright, alright. I'll give points to the creator for actually knowing that he had created the most annoying thing. Kind of like Frankenstein. He didn't pull any sugar on top of that with his creation either. He was like, this is the monster. I'm not playing any bullshit on this one. But now I'm even more stricken back by the notion that he's cranking up for his greatest racing adventure yet. Like, he's had any other ones? Not that I care, but curiosity and whatnot. So, here we have... Crazy Frog Racing, Crazy Frog Racing 2, and Crazy Frog Arcade Racer, which happens to be the one I've acquired. But here's the interesting thing, I googled this shit and found numerous iterations and ports. Are these real? I don't know. Are these just fan art creations? Did this game really warrant a Game Boy Advance and DS port? Also, Racer 2 looks identical to Arcade Racer. Did this game just get retitled on release? Is it the same game? I honestly don't know, <laughs> but I really, really don't care. They spout off other things on the back of the box, showing off some screenshots, and then here. Right fucking here. I don't think, uh, hmm. Let me just verify this on good old Webster. Yep, that is not how you spell popular. Holy shit. Let's get to play into this game already. The characters, sure. Some of them are from the obnoxious music videos, and yes, I was wrong on the intro cover. That guy is from one of them, but I'm not really beating myself up for not recognizing him, because fuck off, I don't really give a shit. The other characters, well, I'm just assuming they added them to give you a different characters to play as. You know, some variation! They all have different stats and whatnot to make them play differently. <laughs> the only thing is, they all play exactly the same, but I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. You can choose from the main menu, of course. One or two player, records, options, video box, and load data. Under one player, you have the sub options of championship, single race, time trials, chase, and mini games. Just gonna throw this out there right now. My attention span for this game didn't last long to go into chase mode. I'm gonna start with championship. And with all the other cups locked, I started with the football cup. The controls, yeah, how do I put this? They're slippery. And that's really how you can explain most bad games, is slippery. 
and that's the best I can do for this game. I, I, I gently push left, and holy fuck! You know, I gently push right, and god damn it! You have the option of using the joystick or the D-pad. The distinct difference is the joystick is slippery, and the D-pad isn't responsive enough, so have fun slipping and sliding or dragging really, really slow. The race isn't very difficult. Granted, I'm playing on normal mode, but there's no challenge here. Hell, I didn't even use any of the items. That's how badass I am. <laughs> I'm calling bullshit on that one. All right, you caught me. Okay, my, my controller wasn't working. It's cool, though. I picked up this one from Goodwill. Ah, for fuck's sake. Eh, never mind. I eventually did obtain a controller that works, but the point I'm trying to make is I managed to get first place in the football cup with no items. What does that even say about a game if you can accomplish it without utilizing all the game's utilities? I had a harder time surviving later on when I started using the items! Alright, so how worthless are these items when you actually use them? Well, the rockets shoot three right away, nearly impossible to hit anything with. Drop a smoke bomb, magnet, electric bomb, set up a shield, put some spinning bombs around you, but this motherfucker, this piece of shit, does it can't it will not hit anything you can't bullseye for two goddamn centimeters in front of itself hey, uh, seriously i couldn't hit a single bastard with this stupid worthless weapon at least the rest of them were somewhat functional except the booster don't fuck around with the booster because this bastard Yeah. Now that we can get away from the weapons, are the tracks all right at least? No, of course they aren't. It's not creative, it's just some weird Hot Wheels track with the most annoying soundtrack in existence. Something I don't get. There is fall damage in this. Why? Why would you put fall damage in a racing game? We, it's okay. I mean, okay. All right. It's okay. Let's say it was a risk reward system. You jump to a shortcut and suffer damage from it. No, the game makes you toss these jumps in your way. So you apparently suffer damage, but you collect these bolts to bring your health back up. I, I, I don't, I don't know what it does. The more damage, the slower you go. I, I, is that what we're trying to do here? But then, what are up with these coins? I've been collecting them and nothing happens. I don't see any option of spending them, so are the coins like Mario Kart and function as speed? I don't feel like I'm going any faster. All right, I I'm thinking way too hard on this. I, ne I need to keep going. L let's get to the finish this. Uh, wait. Wait. Okay. Re re rewind that shit, Scoot. On it, and don't call me Scoot. <laughs> What the hell was that? A bad game. Now, the characters that I had started to mention early are super impossibly lame. Like I said, some of these guys are familiar, but the black surfer I saw earlier on the cover, his name is Grim. And then there's Flash. I used him because he sounded closest to something I'm familiar with. By the way, great show, watch that shit. Can't wait for season two. There are two racers that I want to point out. We already know about everyone playing the same, but this big ass bastard is so huge that racing with him on tracks is nearly impossible to accomplish. I kept smashing into everything and flying off the stupid track. Come on, man. Then there's the only girl and just see how she rides. Yeah, um, legs to the side? For fuck's sake, man. Why am I having a problem with this? I shouldn't. Oh yeah, I know why. I'm struggling with this because girls don't do this shit. Fuck, they haven't done this since the 1970s. I don't know if that's an accurate time frame. Fuck me for not knowing that shit, but you know what I'm talking about. It's been a while since this was the way women rode shit. Horses, for starters, look at the scene from Titanic. That was like an awesome scene where they were talking about riding the fucking horses right. Give her some pants, man, and have her ride completely competently. Or make the seat shorter so she can sit normal for fuck's sake, mate. You mean one leg on each side? Oh, God. I forgot about the mini games. Um, one is ridiculously boring and stale. Rip off of DDR, but with shitty music. And the other is pinball, but not pinball. E even though it's called pinball, but it plays nothing like pinball. Unless you can't use these bouncy things, I guess that's from pinball. And of course, that's behind really shitty music. And if you're really feeling brave, both the music videos are available to watch. I will not be watching these stupid videos again, if only once for the sake of capturing footage. But yeah, 
don't know what chase is don't care to look into it if it's anything like the rest of the game it's going to be horrible the controls with shitty music or <laughs> who knows maybe it's one of those things that's awesome about this game maybe it's the one thing i should have played but forgot to in all honesty i forgot to play it but i don't want to touch this game anymore this game sucks i don't want to play it anymore hey y'all have a good one and if any of you actually enjoyed this frog's music there's a special place in hell for you this game will be there waiting like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching another episode oh jeez this game was horrible and i'm sorry if i offended anyone that likes this game but this game offended me first so there anyways check out these older videos comment like and share this video over twitter tumblr facebook or any other means that would be radical see y'all next time i love you